Hello everyone. Uh, sorry I'm late. One second. <laughs> hey Steve, already asking about the Cyclops. That's funny. All right, so today's plan is to took or take what I did last week, which was these uh, side front uh, underside views, and put them into perspective and put them into some weird angles and boxes. And I'm so not ready for this, so it'll probably turn out really bad. Okay, guys, I don't know what's up with the Cyclops, but maybe I'll get to a Cyclops. Okay, so I think my plan is to start with the back boxes and then work my way forwards and then see if I can finish all of these. Although, I guess we'll see. Uh, let me know if there's any audio issues. Typical live stream stuff. I tried something a little bit different, so... Okay, I guess I will hide these so I can't see them. Hide that guy. And here we go. Okay. Oh, I can hardly see this box, so I'm going to try to bring it out a little bit. about doing one or two and making it bigger and more detailed. Um, I think I'm, this is the hard thing for me is doing all these different views. And you'll see how unexperienced I am in it in just a minute as I start to draw it. Uh, so I think I'm gonna uh, refrain from doing a, a bigger, more finished one this week and just focus on the different angles. All right. But that's a good idea. I like that idea. Speed run skulls. Yeah, that's pretty much what this is. Uh. So right now I'm trying to think of that profile view and sort of draw that in perspective. That's a rough uh, profile view, which may be a little too exaggerated. Question, did you draw this week? What did you draw? I did draw this week. I practiced a little bit. I wish I had practiced more, but I drew a bunch of skulls this week. And I think that's it. That seems sad. I should draw some other stuff. I used to draw tons of stuff during the week. But since I started doing this, i kind of just been focused on just the skulls. Which actually has been pretty nice. Because it also brings up a lot of 
uh, a lot of things I was doing are just a lot of different drawing problems I've had that I've kind of been able to face a little bit better. Okay, what do I do now? Let's see. Okay, so if I can think of the the top view, and I don't know if I'll do this for all of them, but if I can think of the top view and what that looks like and draw that in perspective, then finding the other angles should be a little bit easier. So now I know that this side comes out to about right there, at least in theory. <laughs> Hopefully it'll start looking like a skull pretty soon. <laughs> but I've been getting, not complaints, but I keep getting comments about how I'm becoming this weird guy that just draws skulls all the time, which I didn't really consider when I started doing this, as this is pretty common in the art world to kind of focus on learning the human figure and so you learn the bones and the muscles and stuff and it's not that weird to draw them but uh i guess people who don't do a lot of art i guess wouldn't really consider that and so they just see someone drawing a bunch of skulls like a weirdo and it seems kind of strange <laughs> so yeah i guess i don't really care i just think it's funny I just don't want to be that weird guy that's just obsessed with drawing skulls. I'm doing this for a very specific reason. And it's really uh, just to get better at drawing the human figure. If you get good at drawing the skull, you can understand how to do portraits better and so on. Totally the weird skull guy, yeah. That's what I'm branding myself as, I guess. And the thought of, of doing this seemed really impossible um, about a month ago. And it's, it's still really hard, but at least it looks somewhat like a skull. So I, I definitely could not have done this about a month ago. So that's encouraging, I guess. Because I've, I've tried to do this many times before get good at drawing this type of thing and I just never really got anywhere. Although maybe I'm speaking too soon because this is just my first one. <laughs> Super goth. Also, if anyone is here from my Instagram, apparently people have been having trouble uh, viewing the chat from Instagram. So I think that's really dumb. So if you want to view the chat, I think you have to go into YouTube. 
like exit Instagram and go into YouTube, which is really dumb. So I apologize. Maybe I'll try some other streaming platform at some point. Probably time to move on, I guess. That is encouraging in only one month. I guess, it, well, maybe it's been a month or two or something. Let me make this guy a little bit bigger. Yeah, but yeah, in the last month or two or three or so, I feel like I've improved, which is really encouraging if I think about it, because for years I've tried to improve at this stuff and I haven't really gotten anywhere. So I've been pretty happy with with doing this. Like instead of chasing all of these different things all at once, like color and lighting and and anatomy and poses and portrait drawing and portrait painting and everything all at once. It didn't really get me anywhere. Okay, there's one. Is this a box? I don't know if that's a box. Yeah, it's a box. Damn it. <laughs> Speed run go. Uh, is Renee is, is no Ren is Renee here? Well, where is Renee? Okay, that box doesn't look. Okay, forget it. I'm not doing this box. I'll do a different box. I'll do the one right in front of it. I know the top of the head goes to about right there. The back, I think, hits a little bit above the midway point, and then it turns in. And if I cut this into thirds, if I cut it into thirds a little better. Forehead goes right there. Well, kind of turns back some, actually, I think. Uh, Renee's out playing disc golf figures. She's always doing something cool. Unlike you, Ren, you're just here watching some lame live stream so I just did something kind of strange but started drawing the side view but whatever If anybody has any questions, ask me questions. So I have some purpose to talking. I don't care what it is. Ask me anything.
trying to draw the top view, but it's so tight that it's kind of hard to see. Uh, I don't think that's working. Yes, anything you want to ask me. Well, oh, I won't promise to answer it, but you can ask me anything. I can't remember how to find this front. What is your middle name? Well, Hazel Jane, my middle name is Mark. <laughs> I know that's you, Kevin. Question, would you rather be a merman or a centaur? Like, not a reverse merman or a centaur, an actual merman or a centaur. I think I'd go with a uh, merman, strangely. I like, that's, both options are pretty strange. Uh, yeah, merman. I think it'd be cool to be able to breathe underwater and stuff. Whereas centaurs, they're kind of strange, I think. Question, what is in the cup? The red cup is water, and the, the blue cup is beer. But not like manly beer. It's uh, Bud Light Seltzer. So there you go. So if any of you are artists, although I feel weird trying to give advice on art when I'm having so much trouble here, but looking for some things that have helped me is like finding angles that run into other angles. So the side of the orbit or the eye socket sort of runs into this jaw or runs into the curve of the mandible. And then this one turns into like an S shape for this, or for the uh, maxilla. Things like that have started helping me. So I'm trying to look for more of those types of things. And I think they give kind of a cool look if you pull it off right. Unlike what I'm doing right now. But uh, if you do it well, I think it can look 
kind of cool. Question, favorite dessert? You know what? I think my favorite dessert is key lime pie. I really like key lime pie. I don't know if I have a preference on the, like the shape of the, or the size of the graham cracker that it's on, you know? Cause they usually come on like a graham cracker. I think some people like more graham cracker, smaller graham cracker. I think I'm pretty cool with any size graham cracker when it comes to key lime pie. How can you make sure that you draw the skull in the box in the right angle? That's a great question. And the way I'm doing it, well, how I'm trying to do it at least, oops, is it's like I'm, here, I'll bring up these side views again. So this is what I'm thinking of, or trying to think of, especially this, like the outline of this whole thing, how that fits into, well, here, I'll show you. If I merge this. So I'll put it in, say, this one. If you think of them as like uh, section cup, section cuts, not suction cups, section cuts of the skull, you have, like if you cut the skull right down the middle, that's the shape you would get. And then if you did this one, that's also assuming that I drew it right the first time. <laughs> uh, and this is not going to line up exactly, but it's kind of cool to see, I think. I've never done this before. Yeah, so that definitely won't line up exactly, but this gives you your your width. This one gives you your oops, your length. Hm, I can't get it. And you kind of okay, that does not really give the example very well, but I'm trying to think of it think of all of those separately and then you can kind of skew them into the box in your mind and that's what I was doing at the very beginning of, of each of these and so I think that answers your question but that's kind of how you you get them into the right angle is that I'm lining up some of the section views into each one okay Question, has anyone been unsupportive of your live streaming? Uh, yes, Phoebe was unsupportive. I don't know if she's listening, but she should apologize for what she said at lunch. Uh, what you do is, exact, uh, is actually putting the skull into a box facing the side and you turn the box with the skull, right? Hold on, let me read that again. Yes. Well, okay. Let me try to answer that a little bit. So all of these boxes are obviously angled at different angles. They are, see how it's longer on one side? So uh, this skull will be facing this way. This one will be facing that way. This one that way. This one that way. That way. That way. And this one, I mean, I could have it facing away, but I'll probably have it facing towards us. 
and then maybe that way. So it's like, say for this one, it's either gonna be facing this way or that way. So that's kind of how I know which angle to draw it at because the box is shaped around the skull. All right, this guy is probably almost done. Oh, to answer Hazel Jane's question, no, no one has been unsupportive of the live stream. Not actually. People have been super nice about it. For the most part. Except for the people making fun of me for being the weird skull guy. But other than that, everyone's been pretty nice. Okay, that guy's done enough. Maybe I'll fix them up later, but I don't think I'll have time. Oh, and Steve says, or you could uh, 3D f or make a 3D model, and that way you could check to see what's right. And yes, I could make a 3D model and check. Oh, I actually have my skull right in front of me. I shouldn't. I forgot that it was there. I'm supposed to be drawing from memory. Put it away. But I have a real 3D model, or a real skull. So I can, I will put that in these different positions and check for myself, which is kind of how I was practicing this week, is I would try to draw it from memory, and then if I couldn't, which was always the case, and then take out my little skull model and put it in the right position and check against that. Okay, Steve. See what I'm doing here? I'm taking the center of the box, and now I'm going to try and think through what that, what this guy looks like as I'm drawing it. So I know that about, so that's my midpoint. It's another midpoint. There's my midpoint, so I kind of know where I'm at. The top of the skull hits about right there. The back of it hits a little above the midpoint and then turns in and goes below the midpoint. And then this goes forward. And then the, the forehead hits on the third on the front plane. So it should, that's where the brow ridge will go. This is where the forehead is flat and then it turns back to meet that and then this connects and that's a rough idea of what that part looks like. And then halfway through is where the mandible comes down and then goes forward. Something, something like that. And then at the brow ridge, it goes back to meet the nasal bone. It goes forward to the tip of the nasal bone. This goes back behind the mid, or the center line again. Then it comes in front of the center line where it finds the teeth, it's a little bit further out. So that goes down and then it pops back with the lower teeth and then it follows the chin. But I think I went too far out with those teeth. So it's something a little bit more like that. When you fill all the boxes, it's gonna look like candy. You think it'll look like candy? Like skull? Oh, like skull candy. Is that what you're... Can it? I guess it'll look like candy. New book cover. Yeah, I'm gonna have a whole series of books on these. Question, which body part feature are you thinking of practicing slash perfecting next? That's a legitimate question. I think, uh, I'm scared to choose because that means that I have to go do it. I think I'm gonna do hands. It's just, hands are the hardest damn thing for an artist to, to draw. So let's do hands. So yeah, I'm going to do hands next. 
I feel like I could spend another six months on the skull, but I think that I'll just keep on moving. Cause I know once I, I start moving that I won't be back to this for a while. And that kind of scares me because I know there's a whole lot that a whole lot more practice that I want to have with this, but I also need to start learning everything else because my goal here is to be able to draw the entire skeleton and yeah. So thank you, Hazel, for encouraging me to choose something else or to continue on my quest and keep pressing forward. Question, favorite fruit. I'm gonna go with, hmm, favorite fruit. Maybe a pear? Is that super lame? Uh, I can do better. Favorite fruit, favorite fruit. Ah, I like, I'm just thinking of a pear right now. So maybe a pear. I'm gonna go with, ah, no, that's so lame. Oh, other than, I was about to say blueberries and you said other than blueberries. Uh, you may have asked me this already, but I doubt I gave a good answer. It's really nice that you can use these reference points and these weird angles too. Yeah. And I, for me, it's like, it's almost the only way I could do it. Like I could try to guess, but using the, the reference points really help Help me be more sure, or at least get get me half the, half of the way there. And then once I can kind of start picturing it in my head, then it gets a little bit easier uh, to imagine. Although I'm saying all of this, and at the moment I'm kind of lost. Let's see. Question, which Lord of the Rings movie is your favorite? Oh man, they're just, they're all so good. I guess I'll go with the first one though, because the first one's the first one. It's just so happy, you know? The other ones like, get so dark and scary and gloomy. I really like the happiness of the Hobbiton. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the first one. Although they're all super great. Man, this one's taking me a while. Question, do you like watercolors? Do you ever use them? Yes, I do like watercolors, and yes, I use them, but no, I haven't used them in quite a while. Like, maybe six months or so. I went on like a watercolor kick, kick uh, somewhat recently, but as I, I don't know, I go through different phases of using things. I love watercolors. I don't think I've ever done like a finished piece, though, with watercolors. Which is weird. It's I mostly use them for uh, sketchbooks. Or in my sketchbook, like if uh, if we go somewhere and my wife goes grocery shopping, sometimes I will sit in the car and do a watercolor. I'll bring my giant Altoids tin with all the paints in it.
and try to balance my tiny little sketchbook like on my lap. But it's kind of fun. Although you have to do the the pictures in like 10 minutes and it's really hard. Hey, you could do the skeleton drawing like this. So you learn a body part like the skull and when you learn it f uh, or feel comfortable, you draw it big detailed in the best that you can, then you start. Yeah, uh, I think pear is good and unusual choice. It is an unusual choice. I don't know why I went with pear, but I guess I have to commit myself to that. Um, oh yeah. See, I learned that the, see how I had it too flat? I have it shaped like this. I learned this week, though I momentarily forgot that it's actually shaped more like this. A little more rounded. As for the rest of everything going on, I don't know, but I know that shape is a bit more rounded. Hmm, Steve, I wonder if you're saying, like, for each time... Oh man, I gotta get this right. Uh, okay, so obviously this like slight down angle is very difficult for me. I might have to move on from this guy. I don't know why it's causing me so much trouble. Maybe the jaw's too far back. Should line up with this. His face looks goofy. His teeth go out too far. Oh, yeah. That's a little better. Slightly. Still looks weird. His forehead's all messed up. Yeah, okay, so Steve is saying, I think, you know, every time I finish a new section, I kind of draw that as best I can, some kind of big, uh, detailed way, and then when I'm done with the next part, I can compare the two, Let's see how that looks. I think that's a good idea. I'm also trying to figure out, like, when do I call it all done? <laughs> like, when do I... Because drawing an entire skeleton in some detailed way, I can't do that all in one shot. I feel like I could live stream that or something. Like, maybe I'll just do a whole non-streamed video or something. I don't know. Maybe nobody really cares about that. But it is a goal of mine. Oh man, I need to keep moving. This guy's slowing me down. Okay, Fork has been stuck in this one. He done, he looked good. I think you could ask an expert, like rate your progress or something. Yeah, I, actually, I I know some experts I could ask. Oh wait, I already finished that guy. I can't go back to him. Oh god, I've only done three. Okay, we need to speed this up. All right, I'm gonna do let's do this one.
I'm going to try to keep this a little bit looser than the other one. And at some of these angles, it's like some, uh, some profile views or section cuts are, are better to think of than others. Like, cause thinking of this side profile view like that doesn't really help me much, but the top view does help me a lot, I think because this should give me a shape to sort of project upwards. Something kind of like that. Well, the danger of going this fast is that it looks absolutely terrible at the end, but oh well. Phoebe says, so nice. Thank you, Phoebe. When you learn a song on guitar, you know you have a lot of details, but you at least can compare what you play and the song. That's right. And I can compare like my drawings to very good drawings that are not mine. And I can also compare the drawings to the model of the actual skull that I have. And that's always helpful. All right, this is a hard angle for me, the up angle. Something I should have practiced more. Because weird things start happening, like the cheekbones go in front. And I don't know, weird start weird stuff starts to happen, so don't make fun of me too much. Like the, uh, the nasal bone goes in front of the eye socket, I think. Yeah, this is one I need to practice. But see, if I have trouble drawing the skull from this angle, then drawing a portrait or, you know, painting a person in this angle for anything is going to be really difficult because I won't understand what's going on. And so it's important to learn these things so I don't get confused when I'm doing the real thing. Oh yeah, and you can't forget the foramen magnum, I believe is the name of where the spinal cord goes in. This is a weird looking one. I think I made his, his noggin a little too large. <laughs> Question, what are your thoughts on people named Phoebe? Um, that's a great question. think they're they're great uh, yep Phoebe's are good 
I, I don't know. Um, when you, no, I already read that, but it's still hard because a studio recording versus playing home is a really big difference and hard to see how close you are ever going to get to that. Yeah, everything's hard to do, Steve. Drawing's hard, playing mus music is hard. Everything is hard. Drawing a cyclops is hard. Uh -huh. Question, do you have a favorite movie or top four? Oh, that's a good question. Um, all right, I'm not gonna think about this too much. One of my favorite movies is, uh, it's called World's End by, oh, man, I guess I better call this guy done too, if I'm gonna finish these. Yeah, World's End by, by Simon Pegg, Nick Frost. They do the Cornetto trilogy. So they have, they did, God, it's so hard to talk and draw. They did Shaun of the Dead. Okay, so Shaun of the Dead. And, oh, I forgot the uh, mastoid process there. Oh, well, Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. And I really love, I love all three of those movies, but definitely uh, World's End is my favorite. Uh, this one is tricky. Yes, this one is, that one was very tricky and doesn't look right, but maybe I'll come back to it. Uh, Mucinthrope, this one looks so emotional, like dreaming of a better life. Yeah, he looks like he's tearing up or something. Uh, oh, yeah. Dreaming of an afterlife. <laughs> okay. Hazel Jane asks, why would someone say s something so hurtful at lunch today? Also, what kind of advice would you give to that person if they are an inspiring artist? God, I'm not... Um... So at lunch today, someone jokingly said that my live stream sucked. It was a joke, I'm sure, because no one would ever say something so mean and horrible. Um, so what would I say to a person that said that to me? I'd tell them that my, my feelings were hurt, I think. And if, um, well, and that they should be a little bit nicer of course, and uh, let's see. If they were an aspiring artist, I would tell them to have a thick skin because people can just be so mean sometimes, and it's very hard. Drawing is hard. So, good luck, person. If you're aspiring to be an artist, uh, playing good music and drawing good art is hard, I think. I agree. Okay, let's see. We've done four. <laughs> I was going to do 12. That's not going to happen. Let's do, let's do a big one. Let's do this one. Let's try to make this one quick, too. Here's another up angle. It's facing the other way as the other one. But it's pretty close to the same view, I think. So it's just as hard. And it doesn't help that I just drew it. You'd think it would, but it doesn't.
Okay, so my brain hurts. I need to watch how some other people draw skulls from memory or just draw them in general. I think that would help me some. Okay, I went way too low with that. Writing a chord progression in some melody, I don't think that's so hard and it can have meaning, but making someone that feel those goosebumps and everything. Yeah, writing good music is hard. Uh, imagining this in my head is very difficult. I guess I just don't spend a lot of time drawing up angles of a skull. I've done a lot of three-quarter views, but I knew this week this was going to be the difficult part. Up angles and uh, extreme down angles. Very difficult. All right. Do you know Divinity Original Sin 2 game? They made a whole playable race of living skeletons. No, I do not. But I will look that up. Divinity Original Sin 2 game. That sounds cool. Question. Do you ever draw animals or wildlife? Animals such as mammals, snakes, fish, birds, etc. Uh, do I ever draw animals or wildlife? You know, I don't draw animals or wildlife that much. And I probably should because it sounds like fun. But no. I don't draw a lot of snakes. Oh man, sometimes I just keep making lines that don't mean anything. And that's bad, don't do that. What is the angle of the mouth? It's not so easy.
You've drawn a poodoo. Yes, I have drawn a poodoo before. Probably on a birthday card or something. I think his jaw goes down too low. Man, 12 of these was very um, ambitious of me. I don't know if I can finish 12 of these. It's like, what, what the hell is the, does the cranium do at this angle? I need to look that up. Question, if you could recommend a single book to a brand new artist looking for basic techniques, what would it be? That's a great question. I would recommend. There's so many good ones. And it depends on the type of artist the person wants to be. That's a great question. The book that got me into art was, you guessed it, a um, James Gurney book called Imaginative Realism. I wouldn't call it a beginner book at all, but what it did for me was it showed me um, basically the exact type of art I wanted to do and talked about all these different methods of how to do it, and it got me really excited about art and made me want to be an artist. That sounds like a cheesy story, but it's true. Uh, it. I don't know if I'd recommend it for beginners, but that was my beginning book. So, and it, it makes a lot of suggestions of where to learn certain things. Um, so it suggests a bunch of books. So I'm going to say that one, Imaginative Realism by James Gurney. That's the book I would suggest, but that kind of relies on if the person is sort of a wants to be a fantasy artist kind of well not really never mind if i want to do real realism art then that's the book for them if they want to do manga or something you could look elsewhere but yeah i'm gonna say that imaginative realism james gurney or any book by andrew loomis also amazing Furthermore, these skeletons in this game can previously belong to different fantasy races, elves, dwarves, humans, even lizard humanoids. That can help with diversity. That's cool. I'm going to look that up. Yeah, uh, learning some of this different stuff with the skull, I'm beginning to notice like the difference in skulls. Uh, whereas before, I just kind of thought, not, I didn't think, but, um, I wouldn't say they all looked the same, but I, there was just so much going on, I couldn't really tell, um, the difference between a lot of them, but I think I'm starting to.
I've always been interested in how other artists think. I feel like I think differently or slower or something than a lot of other artists because I got started really late. I think I was 23 when I started uh, really getting into art. I had drawn a little bit before, but I don't even really like to count it because it was so bad and didn't make any sense. But, I don't know, watching other artists draw, it's like they have better recall of visual things or something. It's just very interesting to me. I watch myself draw out and it just doesn't look anything like what a lot of other artists uh, do. This guy's looking like a cone head. <laughs> Question, what is your ideal outdoor temperature? Indoor. All right, ideal outdoor temperature. I'm going to say... Maybe like 72 or something. I think that sounds good. 72 degrees. Maybe, no, like 65 degrees outdoors. Indoors, I'm going to say like 74 is a good temperature. For sure. Okay, what's going on with this head? See, I know it looks wrong, but it, oh, also I made his eyes like enormous. What a weird looking dude. It's like sometimes your brain just gets stuck <laughs> and it uh, stops being able to think. So I'll take a little break. Can I challenge you to draw your next skull with golden teeth and a dent up the nose hole? <laughs> uh, well, today I'm going to try to... Today will be the last day for um, skulls, I think, for a little while. But we can give this guy a gold tooth. It's usually the... I don't know what people normally put their gold teeth. I don't know what a, a dent is, so I'm afraid to even say it, but I don't know what it is. Could be a really bad word, I don't know.
God, this guy's giving me a lot of trouble. Oh. You can see the other side of the jaw from this angle. I did not have that in there. Well, there's no way, oops, <laughs> I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to get to all 12 of them. It's a little harder than I expected. Although maybe if I just did them kind of like this. We just stopped caring so much. I think you have a very rigorous and technical approach to drawing. I don't think that's as common to see. Maybe w why you don't see people drawing the same way as you. You know what? I think you're right. And I don't know. Maybe I just need to balance it a bit more. Like this. And try doing more like a, a more intuitive way of drawing. Um, or maybe I draw too fast and I should slow down and just make sure I get it right. See, I'm already er erasing things. I don't know. It could be a lot of things that I'm doing. But you're very right, and I like that you pointed that out. I think because when people learn how to draw when they're younger, they develop, I don't know, sort of the shorthand way of thinking of the world or thinking of this way of translating visual things into um, into a drawing. So at a very young age, they kind of learn um, how things can be translated into drawing. But for me, it's like, I'm not saying no one else deals with this. It's just something that I've struggled with. But for me, it's like, I don't know how to do it until I go learn a bunch of rules on how to do it. And so when I start drawing, I have to cycle through all of these weird rules and so then it becomes very technical and I stop using uh, intuition or I stop relying on my own uh, visual memory whereas many other people never learn the, the technical rules on how to do something they're mostly relying on their visual memory or um, 
sort of intuition on or relying on some of the drawing techniques that they've learned when they were a kid that they don't even think about anymore. And I think both ways kind of have their pros and cons, I guess. Maybe I should mix it up more. <laughs> Let's call this one with golden teeth Vovon the Sledgehammer. All right. Vovon the Sledgehammer. He does look like a Vovon, right? Find the boxes later. There. All right. There's a bunch of skulls. I don't know which one's my favorite. Probably this guy, actually. I kind of like him. Was he the first one that I did? I don't know if he's the first one, but he's one of the earlier ones. I don't know if that means anything, but it's interesting. All right, I'm going to reverse these, clean them up a little bit, and then we'll call it a day. I think do whatever is most fun. Yeah. See, you're an artist that draws very well, and you think, draw what is most fun. And that is probably the secret. Because would you ever draw something that isn't fun for you? You know, if it wasn't for work. How many other people are drawing things that aren't fun for them? I don't know what I'm saying, but I think about this stuff a lot. Whether it makes any sense or not, I don't know. But. Do you like abstract art? Um, I don't know. I don't look at it much. I wouldn't say I don't like abstract art. So, sure. I like abstract art. Got nothing against it. This is a nice assortment of skull candy. It is, isn't it? Try to overlap them a bit or something. Let's see, how many did I actually get done? Eight. 
Okay, well, eight's not horrible. And they're pretty messy. They're not quite as great as I was hoping, but if you compare them to some of my earlier skulls that I was drawing, they're better. Th these are definitely harder than that three-quarter view I was drawing for a while. All right, I guess I'll call it a night. This was fun. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. And next week, I think I'm going to do hands. Seems really scary, but skulls were scary, too. So thanks, everybody, and I'll see you next week, Wednesday at 9.